<laughs> Good morning, everybody. This is Brittany at Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. Hi, Tom Tom. Oh. <laughs> so I wanted to check in with Tom Tom. You guys follow us regularly. You know that she saw the vet yesterday for her uh, first checkup with Dr. Justin. So good morning, everybody. This is Tom Tom. She's a 20 year old female bobcat, one of our newest rescues. She got a really good grooming yesterday. She did, however, have to have two canine teeth pulled. She got pain medicine, and she did eat last night. She had a nice little snack last night, shortly after they brought her back outside. She's looking very sleepy. I think she had breakfast already too, so she's still eating despite the dental stuff. Hi, Beam. Hi. So she got all the mats removed, really good brushing. She's looking very pretty now. I'm sure she feels so much better. So I figured we'd check in with her first. Well, quite a bit later today, I helped feed again this morning. We are just really short on volunteers right now. I don't know if it's the time of year or back to school or last minute vacations or what it is, but... <laughs> Yes, Laurel, anytime that there are dental procedures, the cats are on soft food diets. However, they can't be on ground diets. Um, so it's basically like thighs and beef kind of cut up minced almost, but not ground, so it can't get into any of the incisions. Uh, Susan, I haven't asked permission to um, start trying to groom her. I figure at this point, because of only being here about a week and then seeing the vet, she is not going to be up for that at the moment. Right now, um, she's not coming down off the platform to go and lock out to eat like she was a few days ago. <laughs> so this is Tom Tom. She weighed 20 pounds yesterday. She's 20 years old. Oh, baby, I know. I won't bother you too much longer. Just letting everybody join in. Hey, Barb. So, good morning, everybody, again. If you're brand new to us, this is Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. We are just checking in with Tom Tom, a female bobcat. <laughs> and she has, <laughs> she has told us what she thinks about this morning live. But with Tiger Lily, I did talk to Sharon... Uh, this morning and I said if anybody's handing out sickles this afternoon to skip tiger lily for me today So that I can make sure she's really eager for a sickle and I'm gonna try really really hard to get that last big mat off of her today So we'll see if we if We can get there. I'll keep you guys updated <laughs> So I see Andy Bobcat another very elderly female Bobcat She's hanging out on her den. Let's see if I can get to a good spot where you can see her. She's got all kinds of foliage. Hi! Hi, Miss Andy. Well, we would love to have you guys volunteer if you guys live close. We also do three-month internships. You can learn all about those at bigcatrescue.org slash get hyphen involved. Hi Andy, look how good that camouflage is. You guys are just joining in. We checked in with Tom Tom Bobcat. Now we're here with Andy. Just getting started. We'll try to do a little bit of a walkabout this morning. Probably over here with the small cats. So good morning, Karen and Noor. Michelle, hey Robin. Hey Helena. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Kim. So how many of you guys saw that adorable 
new design from Natalie Powell of Flint. I want to order everything in every color. But what I'm really excited about is I checked my email this morning before coming out to feed. And I now have a new design from Natalie of Alethea and Noir. Are you on here? Are you still listening? A new one for Jasmine Tiger as well. So give me a little bit of time. I volunteered all day Sunday and pretty much all day yesterday. Monday is my rehab day and my meds day. And it was very, very busy because of the hospital. So in the next couple of days, I will try to have those designs up on all three of our sites. Amazon, Teespring, and Big Cat Rescue dot biz. What are you looking at, Andy? Probably a duck. All right. Let's see who else is in this area that wants to still talk even though breakfast is over. Hello, David. Hi, Jerry. Let's see where Breezy went to. Most of the older bobcats eat and then immediately find a comfy place to sleep. Oh, I think I see Running Bear on his platform. You don't get to see that all the time. Thank you to everybody helping answer questions and if you can post links for me, I really appreciate that. Our official store is bigcatrescue.biz. It's our Shopify store. And then we have products on Amazon, amazon.com slash bigcatrescue. And then Teespring, here's Running Bear. Hi, Bear Bear. Oh, hi, sir. I know. Good morning to you. Michelle, the Flint designs are on all three websites, so it's whichever you prefer. If you've ordered from certain sites that you really enjoy, that's why I put them on all of the sites. I see questions about Flint. So on Monday, we talked to Dr. Justin about Flint, who is the rehab bobcat that Dr. Justin has uh, deemed not releasable, so we're just, I know, going through the proper channels to see what the next steps are for him. But right now he moved into an outdoor rehab enclosure in the very small section, and we did put plastic up around the top to keep him from being able to climb higher than about four feet. He was out in that for about a week, and then, Yesterday, Dr. Justin gave us permission to give him access to the other small section, which is about six feet. And we're supposed to be monitoring if he's climbing, trying to see his behavior in there. And so we will be monitoring him in there. This is Running Bear Bobcat. I just happen to be talking about Flint. I know, you're so silly. He is enjoying the Beautiful, beautiful weather today. It's this nice little patch of sunshine. I know. So cute. So darn cute. Yep, so Flint got a little bit of an upgrade. Diane, I have not heard the results on Ginger. I was told that they were waiting on some results to see if a little bit of fluid that was in her leg was an infection or what we needed to do with that. But she is still in the recovery hospital, so. Uh, another question about Flint. Flint's Beamer treatments have been discontinued. Um, if, if any of you were watching me yesterday, since it was my rehab day, and I was the one that cared for all of the rehabs out there, Flint was only in the one small section at first, and when we used to clean him, we would go into the room and we would get him into a carrier, and then we'd be able to clean the room and do all of what we needed without him bothering us. And outside, I was like, mm, I'll give it a try. He used to really enjoy going in the carrier because it usually meant he was going somewhere fun, like going outside. But he was like, no way, lady. I'm already outside and I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> so, <laughs> But now he's got two sections, so we can just close him on one side or the other. 
I love how all the bobcats today are like hiding their face from me. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Let's see if we can find one that wants to hang out with us. <laughs> can usually count on smalls, but we'll see. And then I was gonna work my way up into the front corner here and see if Shiloh or Filma were out, two of our other newest rescues. So we are monitoring and charting everything imaginable with Flint and they're filling out paperwork for the state and of course we will let you guys know uh, what the next steps are for him. Well, we might have missed, oh there she is. Hi Smalls. Hi little girl. If you guys are just joining in, we've already checked in with Tom Tom. We saw Andy Bobcat, Running Bear Bobcat. <laughs> I knew if I started to walk away, you'd come running. Now we're here with Smalls Bobcat. Hi, lady. What are you doing? You purring? Oh, I do have a funny story about Dryden. So I volunteer typically on Sundays, but my volunteer day is kind of becoming Mondays as well. Um, but on Sunday morning, I was doing lockouts and separating cats for feeding. And Dryden, <laughs> I think Dryden is being influenced for Max and Marianne, who are now across the street from him. Because for the first time ever, I saw Dryden with his zoomies and it was hilarious. Unfortunately, I couldn't get it on camera. Hi. I know what you're up to. So again, this is Small's Bobcat. Look at that Bobcat tail. But Dryden with the zoomies was hilarious because he already has really huge eyes and I swear they got even bigger when he was running around like crazy. And he was basically he was basically um, just running and like he'd stop and he'd stare me down and then he'd run the other direction. And of course though, the one thing he would not do is actually separate for feeding. It was really silly. All right, all right. Sorry I'm missing everybody's questions at the moment. When the cats like to get this close to me, I watch the cat, not the camera. Look at that tail. But I think people want to see somebody else's, somebody, the other side of you. Yeah, so I'm really hoping that if Dryden is starting to come out of his shell, it really helps that it's been a lot cooler. I mean, it's been 70 degrees in the mornings, which is just insane. Because it's usually already 85. <laughs> Uh-oh, is somebody mad at me or complaining? I'm starting to see comments of everybody trying to say something to Karen. Small girl. <laughs> she just cracks me up. So you know who's been showing me his rear end a lot? is a uh, mouser, which is really, really silly. All right, um, I am right next to Simba Savannah, but I didn't see him when I walked through, so that's why I didn't stop. I still don't see him from here. Are you chasing? You hear the little footsteps. Every time I start to walk away, she's gonna chase me. Are you chasing? <laughs> Where are we going? Is your neighbor home? If I don't spot him from here, I'll probably keep going. I was gonna head over to Shiloh. Oh, I think he's on the cooler room. Do, do, do. 
there's that handsome man. Hi, Simba. Hi, cute boy. This is Simba. He's a Savannah cat. Brenda, we started this live feed with Tom Tom, so you can see her and her update um, when this live feed posts automatically. You can rewatch it from the beginning. Simba's very sleepy. Alright, we're gonna keep moving along. We have already seen Tom Tom, Andy Bobcat. We saw Running Bear and got a piece of his mind. Ooh, there's Smalls doing her, her zoomies. Did you see her bounce off that tree? We've seen Smalls Bobcat, Simba Savannah now. I'm gonna head across the street. Oh, I'm starting to hear Gilligan wooing. It was 70 degrees this morning when I first got here. I actually even wore, <laughs> I actually even wore a, a sweatshirt on my way up because when you're moving on a golf cart, it's even chillier. All right, little girl. I'll swing back by later. But it still gets <laughs> very hot during the day. She is so wild. She'll do anything to keep me here anything to keep me here. Of course, the chances of us seeing Shiloh or, or Filmo are pretty rare at this moment because they've already eaten breakfast. What are you doing up there? My goodness. My goodness. All right. Let's try to see if we can catch a glimpse of Filmo today. Oh, I see him. He's out, he's under that bench. Hi, Filmo. It's okay. That was Small's Bobcat, the one running and jumping and leaping off trees. Hi, Filmo. Hi, cute boy. Don't go in the den. Can I come around and say hi to you? Thank you, boy. Oh, very loud airplane. <laughs> hi, Filmo. Well, we might just get a good view of him yet. I was very proud of him when I volunteered on Sunday. I got to feed three of the four new cats. Oh, darn. He's still really terrified of golf carts, and so there goes Sharon on the meds cart, and he darted into the den. Maybe he'll come back out. Filmo! But Filmo ate his entire breakfast in lockout yesterday, which was really awesome. Let's give him a minute. Maybe he'll come back out. But we at least got a little glimpse. Let's see if Shiloh is out. That might give him time to sneak back out. Shiloh's been hanging out and I'm kind of discovering his new spots. He likes to hang out in the middle of these. <laughs> he also, oh, I see him over there. He also really likes being in his tree. But the spot that you'll find him most often, and he's usually laying upside down showing his belly is over here in these plants. Hi Shiloh! Hi cute boy! Hi cute boy! Hi! This is Shiloh Bobcat. Hi! Look how handsome you are. He's very handsome. You can see his little tail going. Look how handsome you are. Oh, 
is and he's so cute he's so big too he almost weighed 40 pounds I believe maybe 38 pounds he's a very very big boy and he doesn't really look overweight necessarily but he is fluffy he's got thick hair California is such a drier climate than here he's gonna head over to he really loves those plants over there and that's where he likes to hang out is this your spot this is a really fun spot over here yeah I saw Jamie out, I think it was last night, taking some new photos. So hopefully we'll have some sponsorship kits soon. And Look at that tail. Look at that tail. Again, this is Shiloh Bobcat. He's around 11 years old, I believe is what they said, or that's the best guess we have. He's one of our newest rescues. He's only been here a little over a week. I think Saturday was a week. He does have a pink nose. It's, it's like too much. It's too much. Now actually he, uh, the direction he's looking is over by the gift shop. He likes all these tropical plants. <laughs> he just got situated in the middle there. How am I supposed to find you? Is that the point? That's the point. Yeah, he's in there. Try to find the bobcat in there. Just see a twitchy tail. And a yawny mouth. <laughs> Lori, I heard that there were enough sponsors for Karma to sing to Amanda, but... Marie, I believe, is out sick at the moment, and I believe that's how they were setting all that up, so. Again, you guys will be the first ones to know. You guys usually know stuff before I do. All right, cute boy, we'll let you sleep. He's right in the middle there, and that is where he likes to hang out all day long. So let's just see if Filmo came back out. If not to head over maybe we can see Gilligan if he's still out I'll try to see Loki if he's out here's Biscuit you can always count on Biscuit hi this is Nabisco Bobcat I guess we're having a, a Bobcat Tuesday sneaky you making friends with your neighbor yet we might have lost Filmo because of the golf carts, but that's okay. He'll sneak back out at some point. At least you guys got a glimpse of him, and you could see that before there was a golf cart noise, he was definitely out and about. If you guys just heard that crying, that's Pharaoh. See a white serval over there in the background? That's Pharaoh. Hi, Filmo. I see your glowing eyes. Yeah, Bob, Bobcat Tail Tuesdays. All right, sweet boy. We'll let you, we'll let you relax. <laughs> All right, guys, hang with me here. I've got some rocky terrain. Let me go around the corner here. Loki well, had been hanging out on his platform quite a bit lately. Loki's a Savannah cat. But I'm not seeing him right off the bat. Oh, there he is. He's grooming. Hi, Loki. It's right below the platform there. Hi, little Loki.
Loki is very, very handsome. Very, very shy and elusive. You don't always get to, don't always get to see him. But since the weather's been cooling down, he does like to sleep on this platform during the day. Cute boy. I have tried to zoom in on him before in this enclosure and unfortunately when I do that it will like not seem to focus on the cat, it focuses on the bars. So just because he's in 2x4 wire instead of 4x4. Four four. Thank you again to everybody helping answer questions and I really appreciate the donation as well. Yeah, did any of you guys watch the live last night that Carol did following me with meds? <laughs> Thank you, Heather, for the donation. Little Loki. Yep, the one of these cats have amazing camouflage. I felt terrible because we were supposed to be texting or messaging Carol when we're ready to go out to do meds and snacks and things like that. But usually on Monday nights, the coordinator has already done the snack cats and the supplement cats. So it's a fairly small meds route for the most part. And by the time she got to me last night, I only had three cats left. But I did promise her that... I would start being a little better about that and trying to <laughs> trying to let her know. Here's Frankie. Hi Frankie. You out on your walk? This is Frankie Bobcat. Rochelle, yeah, Keisha only took two more pieces from me. So she was just in a mood all day yesterday. She only ate about a pound for Afton and a little over two pounds for me. Yeah, I'm still, f I consider myself still fairly new at doing meds, and so I had told Carol I was a little nervous about her following me, just because, like, I felt like such a newbie, and sometimes it'll take me a little longer, but now I've really kind of got it down pat, and I zoom right through it, so I told her that <laughs> it's probably okay for her to start following me. Hi! But soon, the time will change, and it gets dark earlier. And then that makes it a little bit trickier to get done on, in a timely manner. So this is Frankie Bobcat. We have seen a ton of bobcats this morning. Marking everything is yours. I saw Sharon and Devin out with her again this morning, so I think unfortunately she's still being very difficult. What are you doing? Is that plant fun? <laughs> Look how cute that is. <laughs> oh, look how silly. I'm seeing a lot of questions that I've already answered in this feed. So <laughs> what is that? So you guys can always rewatch these. It'll post automatically here on Facebook. <laughs> you gonna get that? Or you can go to dailybigcat.com and watch it on the YouTube channel. Is that very silly? Is that very silly? He's too darn cute. continue around his enclosure and we'll go. I, I didn't see Gilligan on the one side of his enclosure, so we'll see if he's on the other. And then we'll probably just take a little walk down to Mouser and that's where I'll end today. I try to go live every day that I'm working. I've been doing a lot of volunteering lately as well though. This is the behind the scenes. Uh, in these little door areas is where the air-conditioned dens for Frankie and Gilligan are. So we can always check and make sure they're okay in there. Make sure it's staying nice and cool. There's that boy. Here's Gilligan. Hi 
Gilly. Yeah, see what I mean about when I try to zoom? Especially because right now I'm in a curve. Keeps wanting to focus on the wire and not on the cat. Let's maybe go around the front. That might be a little bit better. Sorry, it's very spinny when you zoom in. And again, if I've missed any questions, I only see a couple of words and they fly by. And I'm usually not watching the screen because if you fall or trip around the cats, they know it. It can be very dangerous, so I'm usually watching my feet. Let's see if this will be any better. Here we go. Still a little grainy, it's kind of dark over here. I had the scare of a lifetime this morning. I actually thought my camera or my phone screen was cracked. Pulled it out of my pocket and the corner looked chipped and there were two cracks down the center. <sighs> and I freaked out, but it's actually just the screen protector, so I'm just gonna have to get a new screen protector placed on it. Super handsome guy. Super handsome. He's such an amazing cat. So this is Gilligan, he's a Canada Lynx. As I mentioned, that cave area up behind him is actually an air conditioned den for him. Being native to Canada, he should like cold environments. And he does hang out in there occasionally, but a lot of time he's just out sleeping under his platform. Now we can't say that this has been all bobcats because you guys have seen some savannas, Canada lynx. He's so darn cute. Nice little Tuesday Zen moment with Gilligan. Especially if you know his background, which if you want to learn about any of the cats and their stories, your best place is bigcatrescue.org slash cat bio. Every single resident is listed there with their bios, where they were rescued from, ages, fun facts, photos, videos, things like that. And Gilligan was definitely a rescue to remember. This came from very poor conditions and he absolutely loves his enclosure now. <laughs> All right, sweet boy. I think Pharaoh gave up on me. We'll try to maybe see him tomorrow. He was yelling at me, but I was the other side there. All right. If you guys don't mind, we're going to just take a little walk. Probably not going to stop anywhere else. We'll see them as we pass by. And we'll head down to Mouser. That way you guys will have seen all four of the newest rescues. We took Tom Tom in to see the vet yesterday. I also talked about her update and new things with Flint in this feed. So you guys can rewatch when this is over. There's Zimba. He's an African serval. We're kind of in what we call serval row. So we have so many servals. Hi Zim Zim. Hi cute boy. Out on a stroll. <laughs> so I'll take this time to thank everybody for sharing, answering questions for me. This community we've built on these lives in the comments is just super special to me. I really appreciate you guys. Looks like everybody else is finding nice places to nap.
I see a cubby. This is Aries Cougar. Hi, sir. Hi. Super handsome. Artemis is in the background there. I know all of this because I'm the one that separated them for feeding this morning. Even though they live together permanently, we do separate them for enrichment and food because they are wild animals and they will fight. I think Orion is in that little den right there. Let's pop in this gate here. Hi, Hutch. Hi. This is Hutch. Hutch lives next door to Mouser. Hi. Hi. Hi, cuteness. I know. Where was I hiding? He is really something lately. He's, he's making biscuits all the time now. Purring like crazy. So this is Hutch Serval. Thank you guys to everybody that are giving compliments to these lives. I'm really glad you guys enjoy it. It's definitely one of the most special and amazing things I get to bring to you guys. Um, all four of the newest rescues will eventually see Dr. Justin. We just haven't crammed them all into one day. And Tom Tom, because she's the very oldest and we were told she was in possible renal uh, fa failure, Plus she was covered in mats, which usually means um, some other types of health issues for them. That's why she was the most important to get checked out. We figured there'd be kidney issues and we figured there would be, <laughs> look at him, <laughs> so many biscuits. I've been coming out regularly to hang out with Hutch a couple times a week and I, I have him follow me around his entire enclosure a couple of times because I've been trying to help him lose some weight. We both need to lose some weight. <laughs> That's what I told him. I'm like, we're going to be workout buddies. And <laughs> I think he's starting to look really good. You're starting to look so good. All right. I was on a mission for Mouser though. You always distract me. <laughs> so I know that Shiloh, Filmo, and... Mouser will probably, I know they all got uh, like visual exams already done, so they may not be seen in the hospital unless we think that there would be a reason to sedate them. Hi! Hi, cute boy! Hi, Mouser! Hi! Hi, cuteness! He's kind of another hard one to get on screen because he's in 2 by 4 This is Mouser. He's a Savannah cat. You can see he kind of looks like Hutch, but kind of not. I don't want that end. Sorry. I don't want that end. Cute boy. Still really enjoying his eating of grass and his toys. He really likes his den. He really, um,. He's really sociable to all of the keepers. His across the street neighbor, of course, is still a little intimidating, but he intimidates everybody, so that's not really new either. And he won't be over there forever because he's got a home enclosure that's further away. He's eating well. He's enjoying enrichment. He really loved his breakfast this morning from what I was told, so that means he's living up to his name, Mouser. <laughs> He's very good. He's a very good boy. Hi. You're so darn cute. You're just so darn cute. He's really liking his feeding lockout now because, of course, they learn very quickly that feeding lockout means food. Here, your wire is hard to show you. I guess we're gonna soon we. Sh oh, that's Armani Leopard. That crazy noise. Hi. Soon we'll be doing a little experiment to see if he can go in four by four wire. And then he'd be able to have the rest of the enclosure that Beecher had prior to him. This 
So today again we have successfully shown you all four of the new cats along with a bunch of our um, existing residents, some of our older Shire Bobcats as well. You're so cute. Mouse, mouse. So cute. So tomorrow, because I keep feeling really guilty, I feel like I haven't shown Natalia in ages, even though she'd prefer no one to be around. <laughs> I, uh, I definitely plan to show you guys leopards tomorrow. Kim, we were told Mouser was about 15 years old. What was that? Just he's eavesdropping on radio calls. <laughs> what are you doing? Like Camille, actually, all ca all cats, all big cats, are solitary by nature. They may learn to live with others, usually from a very young age. Um, but a lot of the time, they don't want to share space. They don't want to compete or share, you know, food or toys or space. So. Um, we tend to see that they would prefer to live alone if they have the option. But we do have some cats, obviously, that do live together, but they were pretty much raised together or introduced very young. Yeah, he doesn't look to be that old, I agree, but Diablo is quite an older cat as well at this point, and he still looks like a kitten to me too, so... Again, sorry about the wire. There's no easy way to film with this camera through this 2x4, unfortunately. You can see, though, that he's just taking in all the different noises and smells, getting used to everything. But again, thank you guys so much for joining today. Thank you for all the questions and answering questions. I'll reach out to you guys in the comments when I get back to my desk. And again, thank you to everybody who shared this. That helps us reach new people. And the donations are always helpful. You guys are the reason we're able to take such good care of these cats. <laughs> what is that leopard talking about today? What is she talking about? Oh, I know, cute boy. Such a cute boy. Making some biscuits too. I'm hoping that he can go into the uh, four by four soon, because I think him and Hutch would be very good neighbors. All right, everybody. Well, you can rewatch this at dailybigcat.com, or it'll post automatically here on our Facebook page. Kim, you guys made my day. Thank you guys very much for being so kind and awesome in the comments. We really appreciate it. Alright, you guys can learn all about us at BigCatRescue.org. Thank you guys.